All right, guys, welcome along to some Derail Valley Simulator. Updated, I jumped in and did a little bit, but we're going to just start a new career altogether. And yeah, uh, we'll throw on the tutorial just so people can see it. But uh, we'll jump in. Yeah, the update is here. There's now a day-night cycle. There's weather. I believe then the, the whole simulation has changed. There's handbrakes on the, the trains and the trailers and so on. Also looking a little bit better. Right. Welcome to d Valley. Let's get a license. So yeah. Moving around. Dash with F, like we did before. I need to always run. And sure, it's all fine. Right, pick up the radio. Drop the radio with V. Get the booklet. Place it with R. And also you can um still flick through the booklet here. I might have to up, the, up my bitrate. Yeah, we'll store that. Store that with tab. It brings up this here. Take an item from the energy hold tab and move the Mess over the desired slot and release the button. Uh huh. Drop it on the floor. So, open your inventory with caps lock, which is this is new, right? And then uh, we can get it back with this here. All right, we are now ready to drive a train. By pressing space, yeah. You can no longer walk through the doors. Do that. Then in the driver position, press X to sit. See everything. This is handy. Um, so if you tap Alt, you have your mouse. Yeah, and you can move around with the middle mouse button. All good. So, any highlighted controls be operated with the mouse wheel. Um, you can use first person mode, da 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 da, yep. Right, let's start her up. Turn on the lights here at the dash. You see there's no pressure yet because we haven't started the engine. Turn on our cab light here. Got our wipers. Also now got headlights of course and rear lights. Start the engine. See our RPMs. Temperature, yep. Got our brake. You can see the pressure build up there. So the black needle is throughout the entire train. Set that to the forward position, we'll disengage and 
brake. Got the sander here for if we have any wheel slip. So let's go forward. Get out of the locomotive and do some maintenance work, sure. Okay. Fix the derailed car. Oh, why isn't it letting me... Okay, it's not letting me dash. Interesting. We want to re-rail the car. Confirm. Boom. Now a couple of year, uh, locomotives to this car. Cool. That's odd. It's not letting me um, do the dash now. Why is that? I think I just about got that done. Get that, and that, and that. I've never connected multiple units, so that's interesting. Okay, it's time to get your license. Train driver. We now use the DE2. We can do freight hall. Hey, Genesis Raid, how are you doing? I'm glad you're enjoying it, dude. Um, We'll be going back to Battletech either tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, let me know if there's any issues with the stream because my bitrate is coming up as all over the shop. I hope it's alright. Uh, Dear Valley got a it's big update lately, so um, I've been Jonesing to play it. I can't believe I just said Jonesing. Take all the stuff. You like trains? I think most most people like trains, right? Get all of that off of our thing because we don't want that. I want you there. I don't use you. You can go to there and you can stay there. They got the world map. So yeah, this has been updated lately. Uh, it's kind of a, it's it's mainly a VR game, but it works perfectly fine without VR. Hey, Carolina. Yeah, hold on a minute. There's something going on with my streaming computer because it's not updated chat either. There we go. Right, 
Um, go back to first person mode. Okay, as a train driver, you're never to take this train to the nearby steel mill service point. Ah, so this is something I missed when I was looking at it. So release the handbrake. I drove this thing to the steel mill with the handbrake on the last day. Did I somehow disable that? No. That's weird. I'm up the field of view. Starts at 50. Brakes are super hot now, they would be, yeah. I was like, what's that screeching noise? Right, drive the couple cranes war out of the tutorial area towards the steel mill. The game has been saved. Cool. So we're gonna switch. No work trains have been unlocked yet. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Enable the LED there. I'm gonna switch that. Put her in forward, brakes are off. Handbrake is off. I'm gonna shut that door. Uh, this is the DE2. Um, locomotive. When you picked up some speed to release the throttle completely. Coasting this way will drastically reduce your fuel consumption, which we just did. Um, it's like a... I don't know what country of origin is. There's only six units in the game. Uh, we'll probably see one or two of them when we get to the steel mill here. If you know trains, you'll probably know more than me. I don't know trains. I just like... Uh, well, yeah, I just like them. We might jump over to workers and resources later. Um, they've also had a big update. Bring the train to a halt for the oh goddamn. Or that switch. Alright, here the schematic map. We are rolling backwards because I didn't put on the handbrake. Ooh, I like that. You can't just sit there on a hill now. Okay. So, on the, see the service point icon, we're going to approach it from the northeast, okay? That's true. Wait a minute, press F2 to switch to external view, excuse me? <gasps> what? Oh no, this is chill. Oh my, okay. But yeah, there it is. There's the D2. Option, you can operate the locomotive with controls entirely from the external view. I don't know if I like that. It's F4 to access the driving interface. Hmm. Fair enough, that'll be grand once you're doing like these run of the mill jobs later on. I did see earlier, yeah, that uh, if you hovered over stuff, it brought it up like that. Hmm. Yeah, let's go back to first person. We're going to go release brakes and give them a moment to repressurize before accelerating, indeed. Uh, let's get rid of that. We might control back. Brakes are released. Uh, we'll put on a bit of 
power. I guess after the tutorial it kind of releases you to do a few bits. Um, there is fuel. You do have to pay costs, uh, which we'll probably go over here in a minute. Um, there isn't any actual, I suppose there is an economy, the jobs you get are based on what's in the yards, so when you bring, uh, we'll go over it when we get, we'll get into the station in a minute and I'll, I'll go over it really quick, my understanding of it anyway, which is limited. Yeah, exactly. It uh, it's limit. Like I can't, I can't hit F. So it's restricting a bit. But uh, yeah, that's okay, Genesis. Um, we'll get to the minimum. This I haven't done this part ever. Job. Look, make blah, 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 blah. This locomotive will stay here for servicing. Let's get you another, which you'll use to take new jobs. Oh, do you have to hit the? Just make sure we turn it off. Uh, you can use any locomotives that you find in the world that you are licensed for. There is a uh, only one DE2 available nearby. Yeah, like, I can't hit my F key right now, which is weird, and I presume it's just part of the the thing I'm over. It's not too, that's not fish eye to you guys, is it? I might bring that down a little bit. Let's bring that down to 70. Yeah, I think that looks better. So yeah, there's a DE2 here. I believe that's a DE6. Yeah, the game opens up a lot later, um, depending on what you can do. But we'll, we'll go over that in the station. The station's just over there. I find myself using the Alt key a lot. A little bit more. You can hear it click into place when you're in the right position, like that. I can't usually you can just like uh, hit F and get into the, the thing so <clears throat> you can also hand push those things really I can't be arsed. <laughs> Letting our brake pressure build up here. Yeah, the turntable, I get you. I get you. I still couldn't be bothered. Um put it into gear. Should be handy. Because we're empty, it speeds up pretty quickly. A little bit of a haze today.
Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. We'll probably go to Harbour Town. So I'm already going to start planning here. Okay, doesn't want to do that. So we're up at the steel mill. We're going to want to go to Harbour Town. So we're probably going to take a job going there. So we'll want the uh, locomotive at the front. So we're going to reverse out of here if it lets us. Well, uh... Oh, you can do it here as well. So it's kind of optional simulator then, right? Can I use dash now? No, I can't. You're lying to me, tutorial. I'm just gonna hit all the buttons just to see if it, uh, hold on a second. Yeah. Fine, we'll go the, the old fashioned way. We'll probably restart here because, yeah, it looks like the tutorial does kinda bug. <laughs> you can see the LOD there. <laughs> We need that money. Okay, so this is the extra part of the game. You have fees for when you're running your. Uh, let's put that in six. So the engine is running on that second one, so constantly the price is going up because you know fuel costs and everything. This is the one we moved. It cost us thirteen hundred in fees just to do the tutorial, but we have a copay. Which means we only pay a hundred. Ah, done. Oh. Provides a balanced experience where gameplay is challenging, but also allows some accessibility features such as dashing when external view. As all accessibility features makes the experience as realistic as possible, requires lots of patience, payments are increased and offset. So, to offset slower pace, that'll turn off dashing and everything, which is okay. But do we want to do standard just to have the external view to mess around with? Hmm. I kind of want to mess around with that. Oh yeah, like I missed the step with the handbrake the last time, so I got here and I couldn't finish the tutorial. So if you miss a step and you go too far, the tutorial won't just automatically catch up with you. Um, I'm just going to do standard here. Oh, and it's going to completely load us into something else. Cool. Having the dash is kind of handy. Cool. When you're ready, you can get your first job. Cool, yeah, and uh, we can turn off the tutorials here. I'm going to leave it up there. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But uh, yeah, look, the tutorial is what it is. So, as you can see, I have our list of locations here. There is a world here. There's not much going on in it. But uh, these jobs here are all kind of generated by what you're carrying around. So take for this, for example, this freight hall. If we take this steel from here up to the goods factory, which is actually a really handy little 92 minutes to do that. They've really upped the times on these jobs. Anyway. Um, if we take this up to the goods factory, which we probably will, um, 
and we dock that up and then we go into the station there may be a job to um although i did put it on standard as well i don't know um what was i gonna say yeah a job will be created using this so there could be like um a shunting job or something like that like a shunting job here as if like this was delivered from somewhere else it's just the ambient noise from there okay how many cars can the d2 haul the d2 can haul about 400 tons so you'll see this uh, is about 245 tons I think it's a limit is 400. So we have two very similar jobs here. That was 45 tons lighter and a grand less. So we're going to take this one. Um, insert the delivery order there to get the job book. These couches in bed sleep here. So if you don't want to go at night, you can just sleep there. That's it. Now you're on your own. Boom. Previously, I would have gone and found... Well, actually, I'm going to do it now. So we're looking for SMFH85. Oh, I can move. It's probably this one, isn't it? It's 34. That's that second job. Might be. So that's that second job. But oh, these are still billets. Okay, so this is the job here. There's a trash can? There is. So this is the job. Is this? One, two, three. Yeah, it is five. Okay, go. Cool. This is our job, and we're going to go that direction. So... Go all the way down here. And we're going to rotate this. Because we want the radiator at the front. Trust me. We want the radiator at the front. Oh, it's burning. Okay, well, it's probably going to cost us a fortune then. <laughs> oh, it's not running. Everything is just ticked up. Maybe the silence would have been a giveaway. Uh, brake pressure's fine. All that's good. Let's go. Let's go fast. No, I didn't, and there's a reason. So previously the job times were a lot less. Also, I'm very warm, so I'm going to turn on that. Previously, this job time would have maybe been 32 minutes, something around that. So this is what I would have done before, is before accepting the order, you go out and you find it, and you bring your locomotive over and hook it up, so that you're, you didn't start your clock. So all you had to do then was bring this back into the station, accept it, jump into the locomotive and go. So you do your prep beforehand. But I think, I don't think I have to do that anymore. Like 92 minutes. It's not going to take us uh, an hour and a half to get to the goods factory station. But uh, we'll probably do like a run or two and then we'll go into simulator mode. So we're going to switch that back to there. And then we're going to switch you that way. We're going into the end one, so it doesn't matter.
You know, maybe always run isn't actually great. Um, turn that off for a minute. Okay, it's actually, it's really nice to have this view. And when we're doing something like this, I'll definitely use it. All of the signals are to the left. Because we're going into the end one here. I think that accessibility is great um, if you want to open it up to more people, you know. You can have the simulator side of it great, but uh, to have this accessibility, I think that makes it open to a lot of like casual players, you know, like me. That'll do. <laughs> That's very true. Okay, do you know what? That's interesting. So the crouch and sit are two different heights. Makes sense. Look up the lines. Wait. Yeah, there we go. It's off. Let's double check all of these so that we can actually move them. Usually the end one, right? That's off. That's off. I'm probably going to end up not using the... Um, that screwed me over so badly the first job I did. Alright, put her into forwards. Actually accept the job before I forget. There you go. So picking up that one from B10, which is what we just did. We're going to Goods and Factory Town, which is out that direction. We're dropping it to D6I, so D6 intake. I do like this view. That's actually one reason I probably keep it off simulator, just so I could have this. Faster!
Oh yeah, yeah, we, we picked um, normal difficulty at the end of the tutorial. This is the normal career now. The speed limit is 70. Going downhill, so I'm not going to have any... Um, no, yeah, we're not going to have any acceleration. We'll take her nice and handy. And we're going all the way up there. Keep hitting F2. Uh, we did it too. Right, we'll coast a little bit, and we are looking for D6I in the factory so yeah what we'll do is we'll come in we're coming in from the southwest of course we'll go straight through b we'll take the right we'll go down through we'll go down through here and straighten out here and then reverse straight back into d uh into d and then 6i we're going to be coming in from this side it's going to be the uh, second one on our right as we're reversing oh. all sorted mm. more speed Fine, the, the speed limit won't go down to 40 in a few minutes. Actually, it probably already did, didn't it? You'll get to know the routes eventually, and um, you'll see the drastic changes around some corners. Yeah, it'll be a sign there that says 90 kilometers an hour speed limit, and then 200 meters down the road, it switches to 4 or 40. Yeah, limit is 60, so we'll drop under that. Oh, no, that's gonna screw me over so badly soon. We are going to the right. Actually, we'll, we'll keep dropping down because of the junction and it's probably going to... Uh, 50. Okay. And that is already... Uh, wrong. Go. Right, we're nearly there already, which is great. And it gives you 92 minutes to do this. 
for the bonus. You, you get paid regardless, as long as you deliver it. The 1400, or 14,000. But then we're gonna get a bonus if we do it before 92 minutes, which is going to be fine. just there anyway. You want to keep an eye on your temperatures. Wouldn't, uh, lose too much speed. It says there's a junction up ahead. Um, it's not that we have to worry about. Keeps getting me. They reverse the throttle. So basically, these will be usually be set up to let you go straight through. That's what they're there for. And then this next one here. Actually, this is really good to see, isn't it? So we've come in this way. We're cutting across here. We're going to go out here and then reverse straight back in to here. So that we can drive our locomotive straight back out because there's um, no exit over there. So 
So, why not pop out here? We're gonna switch that to bring us straight on. That one is bringing us straight on here. We're going straight in here, and then we need to find Ixai, wasn't it? Yeah. Which is the end one here, which is perfect. So we're coming back to here. We are staying on this straight section, and then we're just going into the end one. That's it. Picker in reverse. Turn off the brake. Pick up a little bit of speed and then we'll look at it from outside. We'll leave her there. So it's going to come along here and then go out on this track here, out to the end. We're dropping it here. If I have that right. these cars that are here um they are currently jobs and then when we get into the station this might actually already be a job that might be a shunting job around this area we shall see but like i'm i'm already potentially looking at those they could be a really easy job like that second one there is probably going to the steel mill so we could go back down to the steel mill and then maybe take something from the steel mill to the harbor anyway we're nearly in here we still have to get past this sign we'll let them go back a little bit because we're in no rush on the handbrake. What's this for? Is that like an emergency release brake or something? I need to know. And we have two up that way. Come on now. There's the DM3. Oh, do you know what? Let's... Cut the engine so that we're not being charged. And then, this is why we want the F key. Do, 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 do. And we hand in our job.
I did pick up the right ones, didn't I? Wait, what? It's taking us 16 minutes to get over here. SMFH 85, we picked them up. Oh no, do we need to do so? Oh, I put them in the wrong one. Ah, okay. I mean, the DM3 now just blew something on it. Nice. Is that steam, is it? Oh, that's because the, the train is very loud. Let's bring that down there. How about that? Oh, it's a diesel. Okay. See? This is what happens when you don't read signs. Oh, manual gears. Oh. So I need to go into that one. Luckily, it's only taken us 16 minutes instead of 92. So, yeah. Yeah, man, it's a learning experience. I just, uh, killed the engine there for a second. Bonk. All right, then, let's get this hooked up. No, not here. Hook up you. Might as well hook that up. And let's move you into the actual correct. How about we, uh, use the old handbrake there? So we need to go past that one there. Two will do before we stop. And... Now. This time, we're actually going to put it into the right area. Which was the second to last one. Of course, I should remember that in my head, because I said it was the second one to the right when we were backing up. When looking at this. The end one is uh, unnamed. 
Also, there's a big arrow on the sign pointing there. And now we'll move the locomotive out of the way. I don't know if that's the proper shutdown procedure, but what we got. This time, we get paid 23 minutes. And we get paid $22,254. We've now got 24,000. <laughs> right. And there you go. There's the shunting job. That, that is what we just brought here. So that's how the, the jobs are created by uh, what's in the bays, we'll say. The machine factory town. Food. There's to the steel mill. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. We could do that. Um, but there is basically production chain. So you can see here, uh, what is that? It's the forest, is it? Goes to the sawmill, which goes to the goods factory town. So this is kind of where your jobs will be going. Everything goes to Harbour Town. Stuff like that. You do have um, a home base as well, which I've never been to. You can fast travel around for money. Right. So we could go from goods factory town over to the machine factory town. That's a bit of a trip. Or we can go from here to the steel mill. Then we'll get a job in the steel mill, probably going to Harbour Town. There's a simple freight hall, and I'm pretty sure they're over there. 46 minutes. Wouldn't really be a problem. Oh. See how much this cost. 7,300 if we didn't have um, copay or anything like that. Yeah, we don't need to pay that now. We can pay that when we get to the next job. Which we'll just take now. So screw that. So, yeah, D4 out. So it is literally over where we are. And that's why we left the locomotive here. This is probably them here. GFFH 24. That's off. That's off. So you can tell looking at this if it's a, a 25 to the hour, it's off. And then if it's there, we'll say it's on. So 
but we need to come into this line here. Which we should be able to do like that. That was actually the simplest pickup for us. Only going 20 kilometers an hour. hear the background music by the way oh don't oh my god god damn you We turned off the handbrakes, so we're good to go. The brakes in them are ready to go as well. And we're away. So we are going to uh, the steel mill. A6I. Oh, that's going to be, um, oh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to need to drop this and then... Ooh. So we're going to come in from this direction and we need to drop it here. But our locomotive is going to be on that side. And there's nowhere to uh, turn here. So I'm going to have to bring it in here, drop it, reverse, turn, reverse in, bring it back out, and then reverse it in there. Is that right? A simple job just took on a whole new meaning. Well, better get there faster.
And uh, we'll probably just get a new license then as well when we get to the steel mill. Alright, it's actually going downhill. I want to keep it around 50 just for the churns that are coming up. This is handy actually, I like this having, you can sit down at this height and use alt to kind of get to all the controls, I like that. And we'll keep it around 60. Break. I don't want to be going too fast into the upcoming junction. Okay, I want to break a bit more. Yeah, speed limit of 60. Oh, that's working now. Why wasn't that working like 10 minutes ago? The uh, limit going to the our direction is 50. We'll slap on a bit of that brake for a second. And yeah, we'll hold that. We do have our like, full independent brake on. Release that. Level ground. Be limited is seventy. We're pretty much good until the steel mill now. But I think I have a lot of uh, stuff to do with the steel mill, so we'll see. hitting F2 instead of 2. Uh, long straight ahead. Yeah, 100 km an hour speed limit. Belt are on. So what's the difference between all of these uh, light settings? Hold on a second. Speed limit is 90, but it's going to come down. Yeah, yeah we're on headlights here now. High beams. Speed limit is 70, so we're going to come off the throttle. Unlike in a car, I do like to stay about 10% under the speed limit.
Also, I think my back is now in a, a decent position that I could maybe start using the steering wheel and stuff because I want to do like a racing game or two. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not too worried. I'm on a track. <laughs> we'll wait till it gets really dark. I'll have to go to the shop and get the lantern. The limit is 70. We're going uphill at a 0.9 angle. So that's okay for us. We can lead off a little bit of this speed. I did it again. Yeah, because we're actually coming into the steel mill now, so now I have to really look at what the hell I want to do. So we'll actually break before we get to um, where I want to go. I could just leave the locomotive there. That'd be kind of... Meh. So we're just going to roll up to here and um, I'm going to go have a look at what I can do here. I wonder is there a second shunter over there at the moment. All right. You come to a stop there. We're going to go... Have a gander. So, we want to bring it down to here. That's A7L. I believe... Yeah, we want to bring it in here. But we can't turn anywhere there or connect to anything else. So we have to reverse in. And of course, we can't exactly reverse in from where we are. So, I need to bring it in here. Can go straight through there, of course, but I want to bring it on to. God damn it. I could bring it in there, maybe, and not couple them. Yeah, I'll have to reverse it up onto this side track. Or. Oh, crap, I am going to have to reverse it. Where am I going to go? Is there another locomotive here? Oh, there is. There's the one we left here for t tutorial. Oh, there is another one. Okay. But yeah, we're going to have to switch. Okay. We're going to do that. So, we're going to move past this junction. Maybe take off the brakes. Once the pressure comes down, we'll move forward. temperature. So, we're going to let him stop there. We're going to bring over this other locomotive because it's going to be easier, I hope.
because we can use more than one at a time. that facing this way. Take off that brake. Go. Can you even get wheel spin anymore? Other dude is stopped there. We're gonna detach him, attach this, excuse me, decouple him, couple this, drive back out, and then reverse back into where we want. And this was the simple job. <laughs> We'll see when we go over that it switches so you want to be aware of that because obviously it gets switched by us driving over it then we'll reverse up we'll uh, detach him and turn him off so that he's not costing us money anymore i could have done that already i remembered which way the throttle went this time it's a lot faster than I want to be. And while he's rolling back a little bit, we'll uh, turn this guy off. Imagine it is not a good time to be under here. Oink. All right, put that up. That I want to do that. I want to get in and do that one. Right. So it's that one I want, isn't it? Yeah. I want to change the second one as well. Hey. Da, 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 da. Right, we'll pass that in a second.
Ooh, that temperature. And then we want to switch that far one as well. Instead of having to, I don't know, do a load of shenanigans there. Get that one turned around. I want to be careful of that. I'm going to put this guy back on the turntable. Turnstile or whatever you want to call it. Um, just so he's not in the way of any other job. Although, yeah, no, we will. Because we're probably going to use that one for the next job. He can just drive up there.
suppose we better not drain the battery, right? Oh, so he's parked there. Oh. Well, that is part of the job. There we go. 28 minutes. No penalties. We did it. And we did not harm the environment. Technically. Got 8,900 for that. So up to 33,000. Uh, let's just look at our fees here. <laughs> Oof. Why was that so much? Alright, licenses. Um, what the hell do we want to get? Do we want to get shunting? What's shunting going to do to our copay? Nothing, so we'll take that. So when you buy a new license, your insurance copay goes up. We'll uh, have a look at it here. So let's say we get a uh, logistics haul. Let's print that. Oh. Forget that. That's not the best example. So, concurrent orders. Time bonus goes down. The deadline goes down, I mean. And instead of having to pay a hundred dollars, we'd have to pay four thousand one hundred every time we pay fees. Pretty sure is the way that works. Um we're only using the DE two at the moment. So we're gonna get shunting. Not going to do that much to us at all for that cert. Um, I think we do long, yeah, train length. It's going to add 1900, which is, you know, not the end of the world. I'm going to open up other jobs to us, that's all. Um, are they the ones that are in they must be they're, they're the ones that are in next to where we just dropped that's interesting that's a shunting job and then of course there's the shunting job of the things that we just brought in So we can't do that in hazmat to all that good stuff that we don't have. We don't have the weight capacity for that one. We can deliver the steel rails, all right. 13 grand. Yeah, those times seem a bit more... It must have been on casual mode or something then for the... Or comfort, comfort mode, it was called. That's odd. Uh, we'll go to the harbor town. So, let's have a look at this. Steel rails. Six of them. Not that one. Well, that's a lot more than six, so it's... Yeah, not that one. 
So it's this one. Going to Harbor Town, so we're gonna drive straight through and hook up on that side. And your handbrake is on. And we'll be fair and we'll accept it now. Yeah, B40. Which is that one there. Turn off the handbrake. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Of course, we've been here before and we went into that one. So it was already lined up for that. We don't want that. Yeah, that's the one we want to come past. Switch that, so we're going straight on. We're gonna go down to the end, reverse into this, and then head off to Harbortown. And those right there, they're the ones that give the nice explosions. They haven't had yet. You can see one big red light in the back, yeah. We're going to change this one here to allow us in there, and then we're going to do that one there. Bring us in there. the correct track I probably smacked one of the cars too hard with the other train also we did run it a bit fast and overheated once yeah there's a couple of things that probably would have cost us a bit of money
just we're letting the pressure build up. And we're away. To harbour and town. E9 I. The good thing with the harbour is that we can pretty much go straight in as long as there's nothing on that platform. And then 9i, we're coming in from the west. So it's going to be the third one on our right as we go into E. And then E is basically a straight shot in. Yeah, so that's not too bad when we get there. Hey, Waba. How are you doing, bud? Hopefully you can hear me over the train. Let me close the door. There we go. How are you doing, man? How has Warhammer been treating you? Did you play too? Uh, we are currently doing some derail simulator. It is what it says on the tin. We're trying not to derail. <laughs> played a little or two. Gotcha. Did the raid thing not appear on the screen? Yeah, um, this has had a, a major update in the last couple of days. The day-night cycle, weather, everything is all new and fun. We're currently doing our initial jobs. We're hauling a bunch of uh, metal in our little uh, locomotive here. a bit of speed. May switch over and do a bit of workers and resources later or just something completely random. I don't know yet. So you know what am I doing? We can manage that heat. We're going uphill. We need this speed. We're down to 20 kilometers an hour already. As you can see, this little dude can't handle too much. Once we get it over this hill, though, we should be good. Yeah, she's running hot, but nothing I can do about it. Running really hot. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I don't want to come to a standstill here. We're still on a good size of an incline. Blew the engine. Can we get going again or what? So I've never actually done that. 
I also want to check all of these. I think they're all off. The first time I've done that, actually. Okay. Well, that's gonna cost us. So the TM is offline. Do I need to just shut down everything? A minute. Okay, so it just blew that. Yeah, I don't think she has the power to go. Jesus. Alright, let's reverse if we're gonna have to go back and double up these, aren't we? I can't do this job. blood splatter. Drop this back in and then get the second DE2, I guess. I've never actually done that, so I'll figure it out now in a minute. Do I need to turn this one? Sure, I can use this as the lead one and reverse the other one up to this. Is that, is that how it works? that cost 16 grand for doing that we have to pay 2,000 um, I'm gonna do that to fix it and let's learn how to hook up two of these bios
Yeah, they both face the same direction when we hook up two, right? Um, I need to rotate this. Oh. Ah, your first. <laughs> no worries. You can re afford re railing and finishing the job, consider discarding it to a. Tr oh, if you can't. Uh, no, we're going to finish this job. That must have hurt. Don't worry about damage. You're insured. Pay a small copay at the career manager and all the damage fees protected. Okay. Oh, well, actually, can't I? I want it this way, don't I? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, the, yeah, it was rolling on the incline, okay. Or did, yeah. Keep forgetting handbrakes are a thing in this. I thought a single one of these would have been able to, to manage that. I guess we didn't have the speed to maintain it up the hill. And then boom. <laughs> uh, before we leave, I'll have to A, I guess. We'll roll on through, reverse in, and hook up to the other locomotive. As we pass through this, then it's going to change. So, uh, change that back. I'll 
do. It's also becoming morning, which is great. By the way, if someone knows that I'm doing this wrong, please tell me before I destroy these two machines. I definitely am doing that wrong, aren't I? No, I should. Oh, it requires multiple units. Okay, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. How much is that going to cost? Got for copay forty two grand for that uh flight accident. Uh no, that's not what I want. I want this. Oh, it's thirty grand for multiple units, so I can't do this job, so that means it's going in the bin. Get out of here. Uh, decouple these. this locomotive back over to the service area then we'll do a shunting job maybe because I need to make a bit of money that was an absolute disaster
So just pop him in out of the way. We'll probably use this one for the shunting, so... That's fine. We'll probably have to turn him around. Although, it might be okay. If it's just shunting, it might be okay. So like this, right? This is the load we just dropped off into the eye there. Mm -hmm. I presume I can take this without that. Okay, so, shunting. Yeah, A6I, sorry, is where we, we dropped it off. And we're going to put it into A7L. And then we're going to put one car into B8S. One car into B7S and one car into A3. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> so 315, that needs to go into B8S. You need to go to B7S. You need to go to A3S once we're done unloading you in A7L. So, steel mill. That's A7L. begin. I think because we're not going too far, we can run them off the front. Let's see how wrong I am. So we'll couple up to these. <clears throat> of course, we could do it from here, which is um, interesting in itself.
Okay, take off the handbrake there. Those are off. Bring it into here. to do this, which is not too bad. Alright, we'll coast back. And we're going to A7L. Yeah, we're going to unload there. That's the service there, right? So we have to go in further and find the mechanism there. Right? that happen and let me just see here yeah that's manual service oh it's right here okay cool I was just wondering where that was cool So if I go that doesn't use the same um controls as the like remote control, does it? And then the train brake. Oh, the independent brake. The one, right? Oh, it does use the same ones as the... Uh, or use similar ones to the... Right, we are going to unload. Oh, cool. so that's that section done. So the the back one needs to go to A3S. 
Which is the end one down there. Okay. We're going to A3S. You're going to B7S and you're going to B8S. Oh yeah, because B is back. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll do this uh, one first then. ourselves up there and then we just switch this once we go through it yeah so I've set up all of the uh, connections here B7S is first. Okay. But like the second one to the right there. Ah, it's starting to rain. Should be good there. Although I kind of do want to let her push up against the other one just to be sure. In case there's something needs to be done with that later. Yeah, that'll stop us anyway. Get more, um, more into using the handbrake. So it doesn't cost us forty two grand next time. <clears throat> All right, that's done. We're gonna head all the way out. 
Um, yeah, we're heading all the way out here, back to the main line, and then we're coming in from the northeast. And then we're going to drop the first trailer on this one, and then the second trailer on this one. That is the plan, at least. So we're going to come up to here, we're going to go this way, bring us over there, and then we're going to drop the first one in that lane there. in oh, again we'll let her roll up to the other one just like that did they not have their handbrake on oh leave that brake on for a minute to this one. Wait, did we actually get wheel slip there because it's a wet? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. I guess we didn't go far enough.
Hey, we are getting more wheel slip because it's wet. Okay, cool. I changed you, goddammit. I think the shunning jobs are great because that's supposed to give you the time to do it, right? 108 minutes. This is the last trailer to be dropped off again. We're gonna let it roll down. They're not connected at all, actually, are they? Do that. Out of this. Oh, yeah, look at that fog rolling. Or mist, I guess. Ooh, wouldn't want to be doing a hundred uh, coming up to a junction there, would you? Keep trying to turn it off like that because that's how you did it before. Uh, pop over and hand in this job. I think it's done. Yeah, 21 minutes we did that in. We got 10 grand for that. And we didn't damage the environment. Um, cool. Now. <laughs> Let's, let's find out how much that would have cost us if we we're paying for everything. Four seven? Not bad. Not bad. No, that's the one we can't do. This one. Load and prepare train with steel rails for departure. Are you going to ask me to get that out of A7L? That I just put a container in front of. Two pickups. I just put through. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. It's going to get me to. It's going to get me to pick up these ones, isn't it? Oh, that's. That's nasty. That's one of the pickups. could do is go do jobs somewhere else by fast travel. Yeah, but this is four. Which which job are you? You're 86. Yeah, so that's three of them, and then we'd have to go pick up that one. Not that bad. And then bring them in there to load. I think we can do that. 
So it was 86, wasn't it? Yeah, two pickups. So we pick up that single trailer that's in there behind the one we just dropped. We have an hour and a bit to do it. Pick up them in A5S, pick up that in B7S. Hey, Plumber Smack, crashing trains? No. 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 Not in the last 20 minutes. Right, I need to get in there and get that trailer out. Is that like a joint step one? No. It is. I just rage quit football manager and take my anger out on something. <laughs> I've been playing um, single player Tarkov. And I just put. I don't want. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, let's leave that there. And I, I added in some mods, and my god. Um, we need to reverse. Uh, yeah, so it's, you know, not exactly, uh, BSG wouldn't, don't like it, but, uh, it's basically a local server and, um, it's like offline mode with, uh, progression. But, um, there are actual quote-unquote PMCs in the game. They have Raider AI. Uh, and then there's mods to, like, make it so that they don't get... that the scavs don't stay in the local areas and they they roam around and stuff. And the goons have a very high spawn rate. <laughs> I've been having fun with it. I did. I, it's the most fun I've had in Tarkov in a year. Of course, if you get, you can get your account banned. But uh, whatever. If they're not going to be able to ban all the cheaters, I don't think they're going to be able to do much about someone playing on their own. You hate Tarkov and you keep coming back to it. I love the. Uh... Oof! Did I? We just stopped just in time there. I love the gunplay, the mechanics and everything. Obviously, probably the same as most people, I hate the... the issue they're having with... Um, not so legitimate players. I don't know if you watched um, when myself and Jinx were playing, but... Did I? Oh, no, I didn't. I did. Uh, so we need to move this one out of the way to get into that one. Like I, I looked, I was looking back on some of it, and I was like, "How many of my deaths were really legitimate?" I don't mind dying to legitimate, like better players or scavs or whatever. I just remember when um, I'd say ninety percent of the engagements. I, uh, I didn't even get to react. Slipping all over the place because of the wet. I remember I tried to go back to it and I spawned in in customs, um... I died within five seconds of spawning at the start of the raid. It's like, I brought some gear. Yeah, I swear to God, and I, I wasn't, like, laid into the raid. I I was checking the timer in the corner. But what I was doing, I was checking my, uh, extracts. And uh, next thing, boom, dead. Like, okay. Cool. 
Let's go play something else. Less of a chance of encountering cheaters. Well, yeah. For the first couple of days, maybe, yeah. But yeah, early early wipe is fantastic. Um, but uh, like I said, I've uh, really been enjoying this version of it because I love the actual gameplay. And to be fair, like fighting raiders in the open terrain is still not great, you know. Yeah, Stalker Gamma looks very good. I was playing um, Stallcraft as well, actually. That was fun. This is one of these games that I can spend hours in, which is why we're doing it today. Yeah, it was okay. Like, I enjoyed it because of, you know, it was a bit of fun. It's not something I'd do long term, though, which is why I didn't stream it. Uh, let's just double check, because, right, yes, 86. Smack that a little hard. Um, I never got into Sea of Thieves, even though I love Age of Sail. Naval action would be my go-to for that. I do have to say. Yeah, I've... Oh, I can hear the screeching from here. Yes, see if these looks interesting, all right. Like I said, um, I like um, more realistic approach to the uh, naval action. That kind of scratches my itch for the Age of Sail, although I do want to do um, a run in um, uh, Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail and also Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. kind of waiting for Dreadnought's campaign to get a bit refined. All right, we're going to pop back here. We're going to go over there again and connect to those three trailers. No, it's not them. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's those ones there. Okay. Which means I want to change you. Oh yeah, yeah, Age of Sail is um, more developed, but again, like, they're both under the Ultimate Admirals thing, but they are, like, two completely separate uh, things. Uh, which company now?
Oh, so they're like the publisher. So that's what I'm saying. The the two Ultimate Admiral games are completely separate teams. They're only under that umbrella by the publisher, I think. Oh yeah, I need to switch this so we can connect all these. So we're going to connect these two. Yeah, and then we're going to A7L, which we know is there. And then we're dropping them all off on B40. Okay. Game Labs? Okay. Because yeah, isn't it, um, am I wrong in saying, isn't it Darth Mod that did, um, Age of Sail? Oh, we're actually connected there, aren't we? So are you guys all connected? Take off your handbrake. Yeah, you're connected, your handbrake's off, and your handbrake's off. The Legends. Haven't heard a thing about it. Alright, we'll let the pressure build. We're all good. Um, yeah, you should be at the post link. Yeah. Let me open that on this. I think this is going to be naval action as a single player game. Interesting. Won't be paying for it. <laughs> yeah, I already I paid for naval action when it. So we'll see. We'll see what it's like when it comes out. Because I'm, I'm not gonna. Yeah. Cool me once. Well, I say cool me once, but like... Um, I do actually really like naval action. I just wish they'd uh, developed it more. Alright, we're gonna roll past this. Then we're gonna switch that. Which is Lash and Ream, just like home. Yeah, look at it switch back because the last um, wheel hadn't gone past it. Diaper Ultimate General American Revolution. I didn't play uh, Gettysburg. Played Civil War. Alright. Gettysburg, the first one that he did. 
like I said, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Darth Mod who did the he did the mods for um, Empire and Shogun too. And then we're going to B40. Ah, there it is. So that's the first one on the left. And then we're done. That's not too bad. Shunting is the way to go. <laughs> Get some money. Be careful because we're on uh, wet tracks as well. We're probably good here. I'll be honest, I, I haven't played any of Civil War, American Civil War games. Except like Empire. Boom. Time to play all the games I already own. <laughs> it's all the games I like take time. I like depth in my games. Uh, it could be worse. You could be buying a new card every couple of months. Probably because you don't play Eve. Oh man. I did 10 years in Eve. I still have my account. I remember uh, drinking a bottle of Bailey's, doing um, a HD fleet in in Nullsec. Like forty guys in the fleet, chasing down a few uh, enemies that were in our territory and stuff. Good fun. Then there was like a, a two-day battle, um, where like I think it was was it Goon Swarm. We're helping um, someone into our territory from the north. It's four kids. Have you had the vasectomy yet? I can't say much, I have... There's five of us. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I do have a friend, um... Who has 14 brothers and sisters, though. Like on my parents, it's 15 on one side and 12 on the other. Um, so we want to go 
left there. And then right there, I think. On a slight bit of a hill. Yeah, pretty much. Wasn't much to do in Ireland back in the 80s. So we're actually driving in behind uh, the other load that we were getting asked to take out. So this is where you want to be careful where you leave your uh, locomotives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four oh, this is where we're heading. Nice little bit of shunting done. Bring her to a stop and decouple. We'll turn on the uh, handbrake. And we'll get her out of here. Not in the way. Probably a good idea to bring this with me. Aha, 23 minutes. Yeah, they do give you a nice bit of time. And again, we have not damaged the environment. 12,900 for that. Kind of brings us back up. Um, That's a big shunter job. Three pickups with that. Go screw yourself. Logistics. Two hundred and sixty-seven tons, and it's going to the goods factory. I think we do that one. That hill over there, getting to Harbour Town, that screwed us up, and I was going too slow. I think that's um Oh no, where is that one? Oh there it is. Yeah, that'll be handy. We need to turn him around. Go through the process.
wet tracks though. They're all set that we go to the last one. Yeah. Hundred and seven Fahrenheit. Have fun, dude. What's that? Is that like thirty four or five Celsius or something? I'm not sure I've gone far enough. I have I have. 41? Oh, screw that. Nope. Not happening here, but... <laughs> like I've said before, melting point of an Irishman is like... 36, 37. I did have a good one. Oh, I'm, I was actually going to set that as a premiere thing. Uh, that'll be going up tomorrow on uh, YouTube. See, it's probably a different type of heat there. Is a thing. Oh, yeah, I need to rotate that too. Leave the brakes on. Warning you, you're the DH four. around the steel mill today.
So this should be uh, easier. <laughs> and uh, I was blowing the engine going up that hill. And I'm in the wrong one. Oh, when did I hit that? Okay. Alrighty then, we'll put her in forward, the brakes are off. We're just waiting on all of this. Oh, yeah, hand, hand in the job. <clears throat> No. Oh, okay. Oh, it turned off the damn engine. <laughs>
right, on our way over to uh, Goods Town. Decent speed along this way. Couldn't be too worried. Um, where are we dropping this? E5I. Again, we're going to go straight in, around, and reverse back in. We're gonna come in at 5i is gonna be the first one on our right. Okay. So as long as I actually remember that, we shouldn't have any problems. So you're pretty sure this is downhill. As you can tell by this. down down here come on we have 46 minutes so we have plenty of time but it doesn't like speed So yeah, we have a bit of a straight, and then uh, we'll come up to a couple of turns and a junction, and then we're there. Not too bad. The, the milk run. Speed limit's at 90, but it's going to go down. It's going to go down two. Maybe 70. to be able to coast along at 70 kilometers an hour. Last, okay. It's all fun and games sticking your head out the window until you go through a swarm of flies. At 70 kilometers an hour. This junction should still be set up for us. Uh, we'll keep the brake on for a minute. Bring it down to 50. Not 
and that's away. Just below 50, and then we're pretty much on the home stretch. A little bit of heat in the engine. Right, keep her going though. Don't want to bleed off too much speed. We're just there anyway. So we're going to cut across and then reverse back in. Save up a bit of money and go get like the remote control and stuff. Okay. So we're going this way in this way and then we are going into this one here right yeah, d5i we're going into this one here okay could we set up for that should be
This is an interesting way to play it as well, actually, isn't it? You can mess around with all of them from there if you wanted to. Much, uh, much more of a management thing from here, I think. But that's good. It's good the option is there, and we're in the right one anyway. Then let's put on the handbrake. Every time. All right. Release the brakes. locomotive out of the way. Fourteen minutes. All right. Sixteen grand in fourteen minutes. We'll take it. It's so up to fifty thousand. Then there's like a couple of shunting and jobs around here, which would actually be kind of good to do. The one we just dropped off. That's how it works again. Get another 13 grand to shunt that around now. So the bunch of shunting jobs around here. Mm. Oh, sorry, stretching. I guess I'm going to call it there um, for now anyway. Might be back on a bit later. And we're going to throw a raid over to uh, Carolina here, who's doing some more Deer Valley Simulator. Appreciate people hanging out. Hope you're having a good day, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you again soon.